Welcome to You're Not the Boss of Me. If you are determined to break glass ceilings and build it your way, this show is for you. I'm your host, Beth Graves, and I am obsessed with helping you to not just dream it, but make the plan, connect the dots, and create what you crave. Are you ready? Let's get started. Hey, bosses. Welcome back. What did you think of the title, Recruit and Grow Rich? A little Napoleon Hill for you. Most of you have read Think and Grow Rich. If you haven't, add that to your reading list and absolutely add it to Audible. It's something that you should read and listen to. I love Napoleon Hill. I also love the book Three Feet from Gold if you've read that as well. So let's go ahead and dive into this episode because today it is a good one. It is all about pulling back the curtain on recruiting. And if you're listening to this and you're not a network marketer, this is going to help you in your sales process as well. But in the network marketing space, Many times we use the word recruit. We ask somebody if they're open to taking a look at the business model. So when we think about what happens in the network marketing space, it's awesome. You are able to start a business with a website that you did not have to pay to build or maintain. You get to have someone else deliver your products. Normally you're not like running around town. I hope not. That was like kind of 1994 where you're running around town delivering the products. So you literally have someone manufacturing your product, making sure that all of the safety standards are there. You have someone that's collecting the money. That's difficult if you have your own business. You have someone that's paying your payroll, right? They pay your team. And you get to do the incredible thing of sharing your passion and getting the people that need your product or need your business opportunity connected. It sounds so easy, right? Deep breath. How many times have you said, how come I can't possibly find people that want to do this business with me? Everybody I talk to is negative. Nobody's working for my team. I don't know how so-and-so recruited. She must have had a big warm market. My family's laughing at me. I can't recruit. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what to say. I'm getting crickets. Nobody's open to this opportunity. Stop and pause. Did you hear all that negativity in my voice? Did you hear all of that disbelief in what I was sharing? Did your vibration just kind of drop to the floor? Words are the most powerful thing that you have while you're thinking about the idea of recruiting and sharing. So we're going to start there. I am going to tell you exactly some shifts that you need to make, and then I'm going to end with a strategy that I have used over and over and over again to recruit over a thousand people into the network marketing business that I'm in and to help others to do the same. And you don't have to be an influencer. You don't have to have a podcast. You can be, as I was, I share this all the time, a regular everyday person. I had an AOL account. I had a couple hundred friends on Facebook. I didn't understand the online space, but I was willing to present. I was willing to ask the question. So hearing from somebody that's like on a podcast, oh, all these accolades, I want you to go back with me to 2014. I want you to go back to the person that said, okay, I'm going to trust this business model. I'm going to trust that this is the way that I can break the glass ceiling that I had if I was going to head back to work to be a teacher. And so first of all, I had to have that belief. So let's talk about all that negativity you heard in my voice. I hear it all the time. And if you're a leader or maybe it comes out of your mouth, I can tell you that the person that's saying those things, people are feeling that vibration. People are feeling that negativity. So of course they're not answering you. Of course they don't want to talk to you about the business. You don't even believe that it works yourself. So the first thing I want to tell you is let's shift those words. All right. So when you hear recruit and grow rich, I want you to have affirmations around your business. I want you to throw away those words that aren't working for you. This is a little thing that I want to share with you is that sound vibration travels through water four times faster than it goes through open air. Considering that your body is 70% water, you'll understand how quickly the vibration from negative words actually resonates with your cells. You guys, it's science, right? (laughs) I love that little science. So I read this in an article. I think it's a Goop article, but it was like so incredible to think about the power of the words that we're using. And as I was doing this recruit and grow rich content, I started to think, yes, I can give you all kinds of strategies, but if we don't start with the vibration, 
being high. If we don't start with having affirmations and vision and a positive mindset around the success of our ability to recruit and bring people into the business, and also the belief that that person will have success as a business partner with you, then yeah, might as well hang it up. So let's start there. And if you haven't listened to my episodes or you're not over in Camp Elevate, it takes a lot of work, you guys, to keep that vibration high. It takes working on the mindset daily, having those affirmations around your business. Having affirmations, I have them all over the place because the words create my reality. So if I'm constantly saying, oh, gosh, nobody's answering my messages. Nobody wants to do the business. I don't even know why I bother. Guess what's going to happen? Nothing. So I want you to shift your words. I want you to get rid of those throwaway words that say, nobody's going to join me. Everybody's crickets. Nobody wants to do this. I want you to create affirmations around how many people are waiting for your message. How many people were like I was in 2014 who was desperate, desperate for a change, desperate for a business that could help us to pay off the debt. And do you think Blair Critch on the day that she sent me a message was like, oh, this is never going to work. She's never going to answer me. Oh, I don't know why I bother. I don't know what to say. Is this spam? Oh my goodness. No. She had total belief that she was sharing something with me that could change my life. I felt it. And she was just getting started. She borrowed the belief from her other friend that was already having success. And she believed in the industry. And her words were simple. Her words were so simple that I was curious and I was interested and I was excited. And it never crossed my mind that she didn't believe it would work. So if she had sent like, I don't know, Beth, I don't know about this thing, but I actually like the products, but you know, I don't really know. It could be one of those things, but let's just take a look at it. I'm not so sure. No, she was like, listen, I'm all in. This company looks to be incredible and I'm having the best experience with these products. I want you to be a partner with me in this. Let's do this. It could be a great adventure. It was something like that. That was like, oh, okay. So I'm not telling you those are the exact words, but Blair's energy and her vibration and her belief was there. And so I'm going to say to you, I want you to start with how do you view your business? Do you have gratitude around it? Do you have those five reasons that we talked about? Wait, this is the most insanely amazing thing for someone to become a partner with you. So before I do those reach outs and before I have conversations and before I start talking to people about being a business partner, the very first thing I do is make sure that I have my belief in line. I make sure that I have my vibration high, make sure that I have that vision. I mean, I visualize people saying yes to me. I visualize people having success. I visualize their life changing. And so that vibration is high. It's like, you have that friend. I know you do. I have that friend. And she's like, come on, we're headed out. We're going to go. We're going to, it's going to be so much fun. My friend's name is Heather. And she's like, we're going to play ping pong. It's going to be a blast. Everybody's there. Instead of like, oh my gosh, like let's get dressed. It's so cold outside. Let's not go. I'm going to read you a quote. It's Gary John Bishop has the book, un yourself. And this quote says, retrain your brain one word at a time. We can determine our emotions by steering our thoughts. We can shape those thoughts by being conscious and diligent about our words and the kind of language we engage in. So if you're engaging in any negativity around your business, around your conversations, around what is happening, that's the first step. So switch it. Figure out a way to have those affirmations. Have a vision for what you're doing with the company. If you need help with this, join me over in Camp Elevate. We talk about it all of the time or send me a DM and say, I don't even know what you're talking about so that I can guide you to a training on it. And there's many, many podcasts, if you go back and listen about those routines. Now, let's talk about a recruiting roadmap. There are 10,000 people out there telling you 10,000 ways that you can make six to seven figures in your business if you follow this exact action plan. So my friend, Daniel Pope, who's a brilliant marketer, brilliant, he's brilliant. And I said to him, everybody out there, like I'm doing a challenge coming up and I'll tell you how to get on that challenge list. I'm doing a challenge March 14th. It's absolutely free. And I'm going to give you five days of, I don't even know if it's called a recruiting roadmap because that sounds so like everybody has one, but my challenge is making money your way. And it's feeling aligned with how you recruit your recruiting plan, an actual way that you're going to create an event 
to share your opportunity, but we're also going to go way into the mindset. So today I'm going to give you a strategy. You're going to walk away with something that you can do today that you feel excited about, aligned with, and have a conversation with somebody that is your Beth from 2014. We're going to talk about that, but I want to talk about what Daniel Pope said. And hey, hey, Daniel, if you're listening. And I said to him, it's like, Daniel, everybody out there is sharing a roadmap, a boot camp. Everybody's saying, here's the way to earn six and seven figures if you follow this exact social media blueprint or you follow this exact plan. And he said, Beth, it's like chicken pot pie. And I want you to think of your business like chicken pot pie. If you go to all recipes and you look up chicken pot pie, there's like, what, 272 that you're going to come across. And there's different pictures and there's different ways that you can make the chicken pot pie. The way that you recruit, it might have the exact same steps as me, but your recipe will always be different because your ingredients, everything that's making up your chicken pot pie, is this making sense to you? When Daniel said it, it sounded way more brilliant. I'm going to have to interview him on the podcast about this. But when he said that to me, and I was talking about this challenge I'm putting together, and I said, I want it to be different. I want my listeners of the podcast and and my followers that want a really good free training, I want them to come in and I want them to really feel confident, aligned, excited, not feel that it's icky, and be excited to reach out to someone and say, hey, take a look at this. Here's what I want to show you. It's like show and tell in kindergarten. And he said, Beth, yeah, of course. A lot of people like the buzzwords, you guys, recruit and grow rich, recruiting roadmap, the six and seven figure way to recruit hundreds and three to five new customers a day, right? And he said, but the way that it's delivered, the way that it's received, the spices that you put in yours, everybody has a little bit of a different shift. So that's what I'm sharing with you today is my recipe for chicken pot pie. But I want you to remember that there are certain elements of recruiting that have to happen along the way, I think, for you to have success. And the very first one is that mindset, is that the mindset, the affirmations around, I am going to have a conversation with someone today and they are going to be blown away by what I'm sharing with them. I cannot wait. Do you hear the difference? Oh my gosh. This week is going to be such a successful week. I cannot wait to connect with so many women that are ready and looking for a way for financial freedom without having to sit in their cubicle. I can't wait to connect and share this incredible, incredible opportunity. Do you hear the difference? Oh my gosh. I feel like tomorrow my inbox is going to be flooded with women that are asking me about how they can make an extra $200 to $500 a month, diversify their income and do it online and be a part of an amazing community. I can't wait. So when I put that out there, did you guys feel the difference between why are there crickets in my inbox, right? So that belief. So we obviously have to have a list. Everybody has to have a list. If you're going to recruit, you have to have a list. Being who is it out there that you have on your list, on your phone, on your social media, in your community, I don't care where it is, that would be aligned with building a business with you. That's looking for what you have. So first of all, you've got to determine where is that list coming from? Now, I hope that if you follow me at all, you know that I am consistently saying five, four, three, two, one, two, add two to your list a day. Where does your Emily, that's my avatar, where does she hang out? So first of all, what is the pain, the frustration, the benefit of recruiting to your opportunity going to give to someone? Do you know that? That is first. You cannot recruit if you do not know that answer. What do you solve? Why would someone want to join you in the business? Well, for me, I absolutely positively wanted no glass ceiling. I wanted unlimited income potential. I wanted to be able to have a flexible place to work. I wanted a first to market product. I wanted mentoring and leadership that was top, top, top in the industry. I had all these these things. What are the things that you have? What are the things that you offer? What are the benefits of your opportunity? Because it is a crowded market out there. So I want you to know what are the benefits of your opportunity and just know that. You don't have to explain it all to your prospect. But you've got to be able to know these things because if you were explaining to me why I should go to this new restaurant because they have the very best cauliflower tacos, you are excited. I don't need to know what ingredients are in the cauliflower tacos because I'm not a foodie, but I love cauliflower tacos. 
And I am like, and they have skinny margaritas. I am so there. What night are we going, Jesse? Think about that. So when you have decided that you have something that people are going to be waiting for you, they're like waiting for you to reach out and we know what pain and frustration we solve, then it's time to take some action. And I know that we have all kinds of things that say, oh, never reach out. If you put the best content out there, they're going to come to you. Well, we can be strategic in our content and we can be strategic in that strategy. And we can put a lot of things in our stories that connect all of the dots. And very often when we're consistent in connecting those dots, we do have people that say, what is it that you do? But if you want to go to seven figures, I've got news for you. You cannot passively sit back and wait. Even if you have the best opt-in and lead magnet and you've got people that are showing up every day saying, I want what she has, you still have to have a conversation. You still have to have an invite. So let's back up a little bit. We've got that list. We've grown that list. We're connecting with people. Let's say that I have, I've connected with people in my Peloton group. And I'm not saying go into these groups and recruit. I'm saying these are friends that you've connected with. I'm going to give you an example of a new connection and how that works is I'm really learning about intermittent fasting for my health. Of course, weight loss is a great benefit, but for my health, I've read about regenerating cells when you go without food and I'm learning. So I'm in some intermittent fasting groups and I'm genuinely sharing information. I'm genuinely cheering for people. I'm genuinely sharing because it's a group that I'm interested in. So I made a few connections with people that were giving me advice and I shot them a friend request adding two to my list and went over, you know, did some commenting and posting over on their wall to get to know them as you would a new friend, just like you meeting a new friend in real life. So now we've got, you know, we've added to the list, right? So you're thinking about, okay, I'm putting all this great social media out. I've got these curiosity posts. I've, I've got things in my stories and my new friends aren't asking me, this is what they said works in attraction marketing, right? If you put it out there, people will show up in your inbox. I am all about curiosity. I am all about sharing with people genuine content that aligns, but I am also about you've got to take some action. If you don't take some action and you just wish that people show up, you will have a very, very slow build, a very slow build. So every single week, this is one of the big strategies that I used and still use in recruiting. And every single week I create some sort of an event that I'm going to invite to that's going to inform. And the purpose of this event is to give information about my specific opportunity. There's a lot of different ways that we can get connected with people and different challenges, but this every single week, I have specific action toward an event. Do you hear that specific action toward an event? I've done all the affirmations. I've done all the visualization. I know exactly what it is that we have. I've got groups that I can add to that are corporate wide or or team wide. But if you are going to recruit, and I don't know if you guys heard my vending machine analogy. I might've shared it last week and I, I heard this in, who shared this? Somebody that was in Rob's group shared that network marketing is like having a vending machine and having a lot of them, right? You can like sell one big house as a realtor and make a really great commission. But once that house is sold, you've got to find another house to sell. With the network marketing model and the distribution model, it's like owning different Coke machines and they're all over the place. So I might have 5,000 Coke machines. And although I made a bigger commission on selling one big house, having these Coke machines, which would represent the business builders, your business partners, your promoters, your distributors, means that you have touched the market in all of the different places. And so my goal, when I visualize that, I visualize it in people and I have a US, actually a world map, and I visualize people that are joining me in all different places to build a global team, then I have to get to work. So I've done all the posting, you know, I've got all the interaction going on. I've got things in my stories. I'm educating on what a great business model. I even have a robot that was cleaning floors at Walmart. And I'm talking about why we have to look to build in the online space. But if I want to build, and I'm saying I, if you want to build and you want to build quickly, you have got to actually reach out to people and ask. And you don't have to be like, hey, would you be open? And if that doesn't feel right to you, but through my connection, through the interactions that I'm having and listening to my friends all over the place, and when I make new connections and new friends, 
I am making sure that at least, at least once a day, I am asking someone to take a look. And I know that sounds scary. And I know that you might want to shut down this podcast and say, I thought she was all about building an aligned business. I am, you guys. I am. But I would never have had people like Jen or people like John or people like Jody or Nancy or Julie if I hadn't had the guts to just say, John, I would love for you to take a look. I've got this event. It's 15 minutes long. And I would love for you to just hop on in, listen, see if you've got questions, see if you're aligned with it. And it's going to give you the information about why our company, why the network marketing model, and why it might apply to you. Would you hop on in? And I know that you're like, okay, what did she just say? What did she just say? That was my conversation with John. So John was a customer and I got to know John and I knew that he had a goal of buying their first house or not their first house, but buying a house, getting out of a rental situation, paying off some debt. And that's also knowing your customer funnel. You, know, you can, your best people are waiting in your customer space. Did John feel like I was like invading him? Was he like, oh my gosh, I can't believe she asked me about the business opportunity. No, if I would have been like, oh, I gotta reach out to John. <sighs> I don't know. He's gonna think I'm spammy and weird. You know, he is an attorney. No, I was like, everybody needs to diversify their income. The network marketing model is insanely brilliant and you would be awesome at this, John. Will you take a look? Do you hear the difference? Even that first invitation wasn't as good as that second one. Will you take a look? And I have an incredible event going on. See, I always have something to invite them to, to give them information. I find that if I'm inviting them to come in and take a look, and usually what I do, and this is my strategy, is on Facebook, you can't go live, and maybe you can with one stream live, but I haven't had success with it inside of an event. So I put together a pop-up group, meaning a pop-up group that I call an event. This is where I'm going to be adding people for my short-term event, so once a week. So if my event takes place on Wednesday at nine o'clock, and that's what, what's going to happen, I am going to say, Wednesday at nine, can you be there live? And this is the key, you guys, is I know we talk about automation, but it's the personalization once they say yes to the invite. So if my goal is to have at least at least if you're going for six and seven figures, you've made all these connections, at least five conversations a week, I am going to have to invite like 10. And when I send that invite for somebody to take a look, it feels really, really good because I know the benefit that they are going to receive. But I am not out there recruiting other network marketers that are like posting about their thing and being weird after a friend request. The vision, the alignment, all of that that we come across, you will know when it's the right time. And you will also have, if you use all of my strategies of great social media branding, giving out valuable, valuable content week after week after week, then you will have people asking you, you will have many people asking you, and then you also have this event. So once a week, I get together. If you have leaders, you can do it with leaders. You can create your own. And I literally put together a quick event that takes place inside of a Facebook group. And it's literally a 10 to 12 minute thing. And so people's attention span, I think is about six minutes. So inside of my event that I've invited John to, I have partnered with two or three or four other people that have different stories in the industry. And we go live in this event on Wednesday nights. Now, if somebody can't make it live, then we use one stream live and we drop it in, but we alternate. So this week, this is what we did, and it really, really worked. And I actually recruited three people from this actual method. And I know you're like, oh, I thought this was something new. Imagine the consistency of every single week. So inside of the group, I had five different people sharing. And we talked about the big benefits of our personal company and the big benefits of the industry and then the personal story behind we had an almost empty nest mom, a corporate America guy that has that his son's in college, that was John. And we had two moms, Kristen and Sarah, that are working full-time, making six figures while working this business part-time. And then we had Claire, who actually has come back to the company after she had made a million dollars with our company, went out and found that she didn't find the right fit and recently had come back. And that was a powerful story. 
The purpose of this podcast isn't to tell you how great we're doing, but it's to give you a specific example. So what was happening, and this is where duplication comes in, is if your entire team has a blitz, okay, hear me out here, about an invite, then everybody's into action. So I know to build a multiple seven-figure business, I not only need to recruit, but my team needs to recruit. So I've got the affirmations, I've got the visualization, I've got the event set, and I help my team with the verbiage of how to invite to the event. So I will say, let's pick a number, all right? And I want you to personally pick this number. And remember last week when we talked about Atomic Habits, we talked about writing something down and the time and the place that it will happen, you have a 91% greater chance that it will happen. So let's apply that atomic habit to what we're doing with our teams. If you have a team of three, great. If you have a team of 45, great. If you have a team of 4,000, great. This still works. And this may not be a new strategy for you. This may be something you've heard. But are you consistently doing this every single week? Are you consistently showing up every single week to follow these steps? This is how you become a master recruiter. You consistently show up on social media with the right marketing, with the right content. You consistently pour value. You consistently make those connections. You consistently do all of those things that we talk about for great marketing. But this is the bread and butter. This is the way that you actually pull those people that you've been pulling, right? Pulling and saying, hey, we've got this event this week. I know you've been curious or I know we've chatted about this in the past. You make a decision, you write it down. This week, I will invite five people to our business builder, promoter, distributor opportunity event on Wednesday at 9 p.m. I will invite them during a blitz on Monday at noon. I will follow up with them again on Monday at six. And I will send a reminder for the event at 8.30 on Wednesday. Does that sound like a lot of work? It is, but it's a lot of work to keep working at your job because you're not making a multiple six or seven figure income because you didn't do the do for the recruiting. So I'm just going to be honest. There's a lot of people out there that are saying, oh, you just post and people come and you have this. It's, it's really great. If you talk to any person that's made seven figures in the industry, I'm going to tell you they had a consistent plan for how to show the business. And I find that if you show the business in a very systematic very shark oriented, detailed way that most people will fall off. They want to hear the stories. They want to hear the benefits. And the next step after that is if somebody is, has that shark personality and wants those details, the next step after that is to go do that. So here's your strategy for the week. I mean, we've talked about for this. And like I said, this has helped our team to recruit thousands. This has helped me to consistently recruit week after week, after week, after week. I set that intention with my affirmations, with my visualization. I write down what it is that I'm going to do. I make that promise to myself, like we said with Atomic Habits. Then I schedule a Zoom. This is the important piece. I schedule a Zoom with my team. And if you don't have a team, schedule with some sidelines or invite your one person on your team. I have to set up the event. The event's easy to set up. And I could talk about this all over in camp if you're in the group. But the event gets set up, we plan it, we set up the group, we all talk about what the content will be, and we say it's five minutes each. So the whole event itself could be a total of 20 minutes if you have four people sharing. The first person welcomes, talks about the benefits of, you know, I might talk about the benefit of diversifying income and residual income, and I might say a few things about the personal comp plan, and then I'm going to share my personal story and what made me decide. And then I'm going to say, hold on, coming up next, I'm going to to sign off from this live. And I do it this way on purpose. I don't go into a Zoom where we're all sharing because it gets too long. I want to have snippets. So five minutes, five minutes, five minutes. And this is just one strategy. There's many. But five minutes, five minutes, five minutes. And you can automate those videos. But I really, really know that the live touch during that live, okay, so we've got, we're talking about setting it up. I'm going to go back to the Monday. So Monday at six o'clock, let's say every week on Monday, and this is consistency of showing up for your team. If you have layered leadership, you guys, I'm not always running this Zoom, but I'm always doing my inviting. So you get on and you say, okay, let's all make a commitment. How many are you inviting? Let's invite tonight. What verbiage would sound great? Okay, great. Let's give it a go. 
And while we're on the Zoom, we're braver together, right? Remember, girls don't go to the bathroom like when you're in high school, you bring somebody with you because you're braver together. All right, so we've done that Zoom. Here's the thing is, if you can get one or two people into action or 100 or 200 people into action and they're all doing the invites, you have got momentum on your team. The reason why people stop and they're not growing is because they're not having conversations. And they're not having conversations because they don't know what to say. And they don't know what to say because nobody's giving them a cool event to invite their friends to. Like if I had to call my friend Sarah and I wanted her to play tennis, but I didn't know where we were playing tennis or when or what the date was. And I was just like, hey, tennis. But if I knew I had a invitational that had food and mimosas and it was going to be a competition and it was going to have our favorite pro Robert, I'd be like, it's on the 7th. We're going to meet at 10. It's going to be awesome. Are you in? Can I count on you? Yes. So different. So when you get your teams on board with a little blitz each week to invite to the event, more people have action. And if you do it on a Zoom and you have different ideas and you're sharing verbiage and you're all like being super brave and you're making a commitment, people are in action. And action creates results. And start that Zoom with a visualization. Start that Zoom with some positive affirmations. Show your team how to show up in a positive way and say, you know what, you guys? Somebody's waiting for your message tonight, and I can't wait to find out who. Someone's life is going to change because you're introducing them to your business. I can't wait. Get people excited and together squash that negativity. So notice how this is now duplicatable. So we're inviting to that Wednesday event. They say yes. Awesome. So as soon as someone says yes, they've put up their hand, and then the conversation starts like, hey, I'm curious. Like, what do you do now for work? Have you ever done another online affiliate, network marketing business, getting the details, staying in touch. Because if someone says they're showing up, that's a hot lead for the week, right? Even if they don't answer, then I'll do a reminder. So if I've promised myself to reach out to 10 people and have conversations and one person says she's showing up, that's awesome. Two is even better. Three, home run, right? So what happens, this is the difference is a lot of people have events, a lot of people have Zooms. The consistency of how you respond to that invitation is key. And like I said, this is the difference between making sometimes money like grocery money and making life-changing money is how you handle that live event. So let's say that I've invited Sarah in. She said, yes. Hey, Sarah, it's, we're getting ready to get started. I'll see you over in the event and I will actually tag you as well. So during the event, I'm very active. So if it's me that's going live, I'm asking someone to tag. If I'm live, I'm asking somebody else to tag the people below and to say like, hey, Beth is live, Beth is live. And your team is on and you're like creating energy and you're making comments and you're tagging and people are seeing the excitement. All right, so the live event happens. The next piece is find out if they were on live, reach out and say, hey, what did you think? The replays will be up in the group. They're going to stay up in the group for 24 hours. Can you watch those tomorrow? Because I'd love to have a conversation with you after you have watched the videos. If they've watched them, like, tell me what, what are your thoughts? And then ask for the close. Just say, is there any more information that I can provide for you? Tell me what's on your mind. Isn't this incredible? And pause. Three-way chats can come up. Once they've had the exposure then you've got to see if they need any more information, any more education, any more validation before they're ready to make a decision. So you've had them look, and then the follow-up is, oh my gosh, wasn't John's video incredible? I just love him. What are your thoughts? What are your thoughts? And quickly then, I love to say, you know what? Usually I, I will say I've got a special tonight for my own personal special for new promoters. Here's how this is going to work. And I'm getting started tomorrow with an incredible group that's going to be running for these bonuses. Can I count on you? Conversations, connections, get some validation. So what just happened here is we created a vision. We created our vibration. We created positivity around this idea that people need what we have. People are looking to diversify income. There is a robot cleaning the freaking floors in Walmart, you guys. People need to know about the network marketing industry. We also have an agreement that we can't just post and pray, even if it's incredible content, even if I've written a book, even if I'm in my stories, and even if I'm being interviewed in 15 Facebook groups, I still have to, if I want to go next level, 
I don't know many people. They may say it, but I'm telling you guys, many people that don't recruit without having an intentional ask. And when you're putting out value and when you're showing up as an extraordinary human and you're putting out that vibration, nobody is going to roll their eyes and say, why, how dare she ask me? What if Oprah asked me to join a network marketing business? What if it wasn't for me? Would I be like, oh, Oprah, you're terrible. I can't believe you asked me that. I'd be like, wow, Oprah, she's so cool. Look at all the stuff she does. Look at all the, like, love her super soul Sunday. That was such a compliment. Thanks, Oprah. Like, think about that. Think about that. So then we talked about having an actual event where we're giving the information that is a new opportunity live event inside of a Facebook group. We talked about having a blitz with your team where you start with giving them belief, giving them vision and sharing ideas. We talked about the atomic habit of writing down how many on this day, when, how, writing it down, making that commitment. And then we went ahead and talked about what happens during that launch. So during that, I keep calling it a launch, you guys, what happens during that event? Because we also do live launch events for launching new distributors and promoters. And we'll talk about that. Maybe we'll talk about that next week. So this was a mouthful, but I want you to imagine this. I want you to close your eyes for a second. If you're not driving, I want you to imagine every single week having the opportunity to have an invite, to show someone what you know, to show someone a way that they can create options for their family. Do you see that person? Do you see that dad? Do you see that mom working two jobs? Do you see the stress at night? tossing and turning and thinking about debt? Do you see somebody that's lonely? Do you see somebody that absolutely positively is missing community? Needs positivity, needs personal development. They need a circle that perhaps gratitude and new practices of journaling could save a marriage. Perhaps paying off debt could save someone from so much stress that they become ill. What if you have the answer for that person that can't sleep tonight? What if you do? You may miss. You may ask the wrong person. Well, it's not really the wrong person. You may ask somebody that's not ready. But I ask you this. If you create a system of duplication, if you create an event, do it. Do it for one week. What if you showed up every week? What if you spent this whole activity that we're talking about, you guys, between the Blitz, even if you run the Blitz and you're in the event, it's literally one hour of your time, one hour of your time each week in the most important activity, asking. You've got to ask for what you want. You have marketing, you have visibility, you have ways that people are attracted to you. You're pulling them to you. You're connecting. But the difference between even a six-figure and a seven-figure earner is asking for what you want. Pick up the phone, invite. But when you have a blitz event, you teach your team to do the same thing. And when you have a live event, they get to see the passion. They get to see the team rallying together. They get to see the excitement. Our event last night, you guys, people were excited. They saw the love. They felt like, hey, I want to take a look at this. I can tell you because I was able to look at the numbers of the people that participated in the event. I was able to look at how many people came into the business. And then the fun begins. So I ask you this, are you willing to take the time each week to grow that business? Are you willing to spend time in the absolute best income producing activity? If the answer is yes, I encourage you to give it a go. Give it a shot. We're going to be talking about this and many other ways to have a recruiting roadmap. I'm going to do a free challenge. It's going to take place on March 14th. And I don't know that I even have the sign up ready yet. So what I want you to do, if you want to get into this free challenge and actually work through this, and there's a few other details that are really important that I didn't share with you that I need to be live, go ahead and send me a DM on Instagram or Facebook Messenger. Next week, I'll have the funnel set up where you can actually get on the list for it. But since we're talking about a recruiting challenge and roadmap, we're going to work through this. So I am going to give you in that free challenge, I'm actually going to give you different options that are like this and then a super secret about how to actually close more. I closed 100% of people 
with this when I did a recruiting blitz just three months ago. And I'm going to share that inside of this challenge that we're starting on March 14th, I think the date is. All right, so get on over into Camp Elevate because I will be announcing it there as well. That's probably just as easy, thecampelevategroup.com. Thank you so much for being with us today. And this has been a long one, but super, super important. And I want to stop this podcast or end this podcast with Fishing in the Dark with a review. Fishing in the Dark, if this is you, you get yourself a free boss hat. Send me a message over on Facebook Messenger or Instagram DM. I love this podcast. Beth gives so many nuggets of wisdom. I am listening intently and have started to put things into action. I have chosen a fresh start and will be implementing gratitude in January of 2020. So I know that you've been doing it now for a few months, Fishing in the Dark. I am so happy to join so many women who are on this journey with me. Here's to 2020. May you all be blessed and grateful. Well, thank you, Fishing in the Dark, and I can't wait to know who you are in real life. I love when I I try to guess. So that's all I have for you today, and I want to say to you, be you bravely. If this sounded a little bit off, if you're like, yeah, but she talks about this aligned business, you guys, this is aligned. If your vision and your mission is truly to impact women and help them to build a business that nobody can be the boss of them, there is no better way than network marketing. And somebody had to reach out to me. Somebody had to send me that text. Somebody had to give me that invite. And I encourage you to do the same because in your hands, if you're building a network marketing, you have an incredible gift to offer to someone today. That's all. I'll see you all next week. Thanks so much for being with me today. Screenshot send this into your Instagram stories. I'm going to also do some boss hats for people that do that as well. So I've got a lot of boss hats, Mandy, because I think we're going to have a lot of people sharing this out on Instagram. I'll catch you guys all next week, or I'll see you over in Camp Elevate. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today on You're Not the Boss of Me. I'm hoping that you found one thing that you will do today that will allow you to move forward to that big audacious goal. And I have a favor to ask of you, and that is leaving me a five-star review over in iTunes. Every single week, I read your reviews. I love hearing what you have to say, and it allows me to bring you more to get more people to interview that are doing the thing, breaking the glass ceilings, creating what they crave, and helping you with your game plan. So leave me a five-star review, and when you do, I enter you to win the You're Not the Boss of Me swag. So make sure you leave it, and we'll reach out to you if you're the winner. Thanks so much for hanging with me today, and we'll chat with you soon.